back. I've just been for a quick dip off the dive shop jetty, um, which if you have been to Upi before and you've seen our island tour episode, I'll link it up here, um, you will know that we missed this um, part of the island in our tour for some reason. Um, I don't know what happened, we just missed it, but it's a beautiful part of Upi and we dive from this jetty all the time. I just had a beautiful swim. And I've popped up to the kitchen to find that we don't really have a lot of options for dinner tonight. We've got some veggies there, but we don't have any seafood and we haven't had any seafood for almost a week. So, Jason, I thought this was a good chance for us to do a catch and cook fish recipe that you can make at home. And it's really simple, it's really easy. You can cook it anywhere on a barbecue in a frying pan and in, in the oven. Um, so we'll show you how we do it and hopefully we get a fish. If we don't get a fish, then it'll be veggies for dinner, but we'll see how we go. Okay. Okay, got the veggies for dinner. Pumpkins, egg parts, peppers, beans. Nice. Hopefully if we actually get some fish, we'll be right. The thing about this recipe is it's so super easy. It's really, really easy to prepare. You've just got to cut vegetables basically, um, whatever you've got at home. And then because it's all sealed inside our foil, it stays, um, it stays really nice and juicy and moist. Yeah, it <laughs> I hate the word moist. <laughs> We're making really big parcels tonight because we're feeding eight people, Mary and May are gonna eat with us as well as Jill and Grant. So we're doing our potatoes and pumpkins separately, just with a little bit of olive oil and some spring onions. But if you were making this just for yourself or for a small family at home, you could definitely just do the veggies all together. We do that sometimes. This is just a bit easier for a bigger group. Jay's the parcel master. <laughs> Everything else goes in the other one. Spring onion, some nice little lemon basil. Ginger, fresh ginger, my best hack of all time. Don't bother peeling your ginger, just use a microplane. And if you get a bit of skin in, then good. There's probably nutrients in that. Bit of roughage. A bit of roughage. Sounds like someone's waking up. Sounds like Teddy's awake. We did well to get all of this done before she woke up. Mm. Little bit of soy. A bit of soy. We can use coconut aminos if you're bougie. It's hard for us to get here. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Big veggie dinner? parcels. Is that dinner? We're going to try and catch some fish so we can have a Kivli Deck barbecue fish and veggies. Who do you think is going to catch the biggest fish today, Philly? <laughs> hey. Daddy. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. He probably will. So the main thing is to make sure these are tight. Um, you don't want them to have well, as little air escaping as possible. These are not my most beautiful works of art. But as long as they're sealed, then they'll keep all that moisture and it'll just stew inside there and all those flavours will circulate. So, yeah, yummy. so the, the bottom, the veggies on the bottom go really crispy and nice and everything else throughout is kind of steamed. Who else is here? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Who do you think's gonna get the biggest fish? Mommy. Oh. <laughs> yes. What about May? What's May's vote? May, who number take him biggest fish limit while I'm Jay, okay. I said no, yeah. Kate. Ah! <laughs> What's your vote? Ah. Katie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we shall see. <laughs> and Ale, what fish would you like Daddy to get for you? Panzawa. Yeah, that's a cold trout, isn't it? Almost stepped on an Arabachi. So, we both really love catch and cook videos and um, this has a different meaning for us because yeah, a catch and cook for us is kind of most days of the week and it's what we do in order to feed our family. So we still obviously really love it. We love spear fishing. It's great fun. Um, but hopefully, I think we'll, we'll be doing a few of these videos, catch and cook and hopefully with recipes that you guys can repeat at home so you can enjoy similar style food if you like this sort of thing. Um, make sure you let us know if you do try the recipe and if you enjoy it, we'd love to hear from you. Um, but yeah, my ride is here. The chariot arrives. Wish us luck.
but guess what? Guess what kind of fish Daddy got? Panda. Yeah, and guess what else? And then a doggy. A doggy. Daddy got a doggy. <laughs> I have a little panda for you guys, and you guys have some doggy too, it's that small. Yeah, they're both pretty small, but... They're by no means the biggest fish you've ever caught, but it's, um... It's really, dinner. It's dinner. Yeah, okay. First lot of veggies are on. Fin. Look, it's a top fin. Yeah. And... The little fins. Are they the anal fins? Yeah. Dorsal fin? Peck fin? Yeah. Tail? Tail? Hmm. <laughs> oh, he got this. Look, I'm, I'm holding the tail. Huh? Mommy. I'm, I'm holding the tail. Yeah. Oh, look, Billy's holding it. Yeah. Good trip. I didn't get any fish actually. I guess one thing we think about a lot here is the fact that our kids eat a lot of fish. We do have to be conscious of the mercury content of the fish that we give to them. So getting smaller reef fish is preferable. And if we're ever going to give them pelagic fish like dogtooth tuna, then a really small size is good. Obviously a big fish usually goes a bit further, which is better, but we were happy with these today. They're pretty excited. <laughs> to prepare your fish, add the fillets or a whole scaled and gutted fish to some mouth oil. Add some olive oil and some soy sauce or tamari. We use a bit of fresh ginger, spring onions and some fresh herbs. And then you want to fold the fish into the parcel so you've got a nice tight parcel. Make sure no air is escaping to get nice juicy fillets. And then put it straight onto a hot barbecue or into the hot oven. A parcel this size only takes a few minutes, so we always cook our veggies first. They take about 20 minutes or so. You're getting some fish, mate. <laughs> so good. That's pretty good, fresh out of the sea. You can taste the difference. <laughs> 10 out of 10? It's about an hour old. Mm. Arlo, what do you rate it? What's your score out of 10, Arlo? One's the worst, ten's the best. What do you think the rating is? Is it ten out of ten, the best? Yeah. <laughs> What's your rating out of ten then? It's only an eight. Eight I out didn't of ten. Quite get the caramelisation on the veggies. Oh, a bit more sauce like. in the recipe. A bit more sauce. Yeah, didn't it look like you didn't really like it. No. <laughs> Me too. Mm -hmm. I gave an eight too, but really only because we have so many exceptional dishes that are 10 that oh, it's really okay. hard normally this thing, this might you be a 10 you got to keep the pressure on but you don't want to don't want standards to drop no you want standards to drop no <laughs> and and nana jill orica has finally made it to dinner what's your rating out of 10 jill 20 out of 10. oh there you go woohoo jill's not that good at math <laughs> nana because gives 10 points because she doesn't have to cook it because i came here late and I was handed a delicious plate full of food <laughs> that I haven't had anything to do with preparation or catching or catching or anything. All I could do is eat it. So Just for me, it. that's 20 out of 10. So. Excellent. Like crap. And considering everyone had their bets on me catching a fish and I didn't even pull the trigger, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> There's nothing in my way There's nothing in my way